U.S. officials are trying to track down the people responsible for the abduction and murder of a group of Americans in Mexico. CBS correspondent Christian Benavides has the latest on the investigation, and we do want to warn you, some viewers may find some of the images in this report disturbing. Our hearts go out uh, to the family members who lost, um, who lost loved ones. It is devastating. The White House is determined to bring justice to those who kidnapped four Americans in northern Mexico last week. Two were killed. This is clearly a priority for us, uh, and uh, we want to get to the bottom of this. The terrifying ordeal unfolded last Friday when four friends, Latavia McGee, Eric Williams, Zindel Brown, and Shaid Woodard were abducted after crossing the border into Mexico from Brownsville, Texas. A U.S. law enforcement source told CBS News investigators believe the Gulf Cartel was responsible for the attack, though it's still unclear why they were taken at gunpoint. Mexican officials believe the abductees were moved several times before being found at a stash house near Matamoros. McGee and Williams, who was shot in the leg, were returned to the U.S. in an ambulance Tuesday. Williams is recovering from surgery at Valley Regional Medical Center in Brownsville, Texas. One of McGee's family members told CBS News the group was traveling from South Carolina so she could undergo a cosmetic procedure and said McGee had been to the region before for similar reasons. It's not uncommon for Americans to travel to Mexico for medical procedures. More than a million traveled last year for health tourism, spending about $250 million. Many also go south of the border for cheaper prescription drug prices, but the area where the four Americans were abducted is one of at least five Mexican territories under a State Department do not travel advisory. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. Mexico's president says those responsible will be found and punished. So far, a 24-year-old man has been taken into custody.